Hello there. Welcome in Power BI training. Let's learn Power BI if you want to boost your career with one of the top data visualization tools in the world. So what is business intelligence before we talk about Power BI before we understand Power BI let's understand what is business intelligence and why even we need to understand this. So let me explain. Business intelligence is a process which involves using tools and technologies making the business intelligent. How to make businesses intelligent by taking well informed decisions and how businesses can take well informed decisions by analyzing and visualizing the data. There is huge massive amount of data generated by all the businesses and when businesses use this data to take well informed decisions that's part of business intelligence let me talk about some of the use cases of bi or business intelligence it helps in taking well informed decision data driven decisions bi also helps in converting the raw data into actionable insights so that strategies can be made in business some of the use case of uh, bi includes in retail inventory management and sales forecasting in finance risk analysis and fraud detection there are so many frauds happening around the world and already in advance these can be detected using business intelligence then healthcare patient data management predictive healthcare will improve healthcare system because doctors management can be done better their time can be utilized in a better way patient management can be done in a better way so this way using business intelligence different sectors can leverage the existing data and they can make well informed decisions using their own data so every industry from healthcare to finance needs power bi experts what are the steps involved in business intelligence so the very first step is collection of data we need to have some data then only we will be able to analyze and visualize that data data can be stored internally or maybe it can be stored externally in some database because sometimes there may be huge data set and to store that data sometimes external data sources has to be used then comes processing of that data this data can be stored in a raw format this data can be stored in a very organized format that can be duplicates that can be uh, unstructured data so the very first step before visualization comes data processing which includes cleaning and transformation structuring the data for analysis data should be prepared before visualization then comes data analysis once the data is ready for analysis and visualization then we can start the data analysis process using analytics to generate insights so we can use data analytics to generate insights to visualize the data and then finally once we have analyzed the data we know what exactly we are supposed to do with the data according to data we can decide what kind of analysis needs to be done then finally comes reporting and visualization So, what is reporting or what is visualization? Presenting data in a visual format because human eyes cannot read numbers easily. It takes more time to read numbers, but when we see visuals, human eyes can easily see trends and patterns. So, we can create dashboards and reports to present data in a insightful manner. Now, let's talk about what is data visualization. so data visualization is part of business intelligence only but data visualization includes graphical representation of data creating visuals creating charts so that we can find out patterns in the data we can find out trends in data we can do trend analysis we can find exceptions in data or maybe outliers in the data and how we can find all this by visually presenting the data that's called data visualization now what are the benefits of data visualization why even we want to do data visualization it allows the users to see different perspective of the same data we can tell different stories using the same data data visualization also makes it 
possible to interpret a very vast amount of data. We may have thousands of rows. We may have millions or billions of rows. And those rows can be easily interpreted. It also offers the ability to find exceptions in the data or outliers in the data. It also allows the user to analyze visual patterns in the data. We can see what is the pattern when sales is high or low, when a company is profitable, in which division, department or maybe geographical location. So these are some of the benefit of data visualization. Let me talk about some of the most commonly used data visualization tool in the market. So very commonly used BI tool or data visualization tool in the market is Excel. That's one of the most oldest uh, commonly used BI or um, data visualization tool. Then we have Power BI, which is a product by Microsoft. Tableau is another BI tool, a product by Salesforce. Then we have ClickSense, we have Oracle, Google Studio. There are so many other data visualization tools but right now power bi is leading this is one of the top data visualization tool in the world currently now let me introduce what is power bi so before i introduce power bi we should know how to install the application so the minimum specification you need you need windows at least 10 or higher we need minimum at least 4 GB RAM. Then we can download Power BI either from Microsoft website and then install the application or we can also download Power BI from Microsoft Store. What is Power BI? So Power BI will allow us to analyze the data, to explore the data. It's an application. Power BI has many components. Power BI Desktop is one of the applications which we will download. So Power BI gives the ability to even share and collaborate those reports and dashboards which we are going to create. There is offline version of Power BI and then we have online version of Power BI. So now I'm going to introduce offline version or the desktop, Power BI desktop app. This application is free. We can easily download it from Microsoft website and then we can use Power BI desktop free of cost for creating reports and dashboard can be created using Power BI Online, which is Power BI service. So Power BI Desktop is the software or application which we download in our local machine. And then Power BI service is the online version of Power BI, which is useful for sharing and collaboration. And then finally, even we also have Power BI mobile application which can be used to consume these reports and dashboards. So know that we can only consume reports and dashboards in web version. No, if anyone who is traveling and they want to read these reports and dashboards, they can access these reports and dashboards created by them or shared by someone else. They can consume those in mobile application as well. 